It's not nine way, a kernel. A what? A kernel. What's a kernel? A, a candle. Oh, a candle, if you can't speak properly. No, a kernel. A kernel, like, what would you call a sandal? What you've just said. A sonal. No, you've just called it that. A horn, a door horn. See, what? A door That's such a, what would you call a sandal and you say something else? A sonal. That's not what you said no, when you asked the wait, question. Aye, but I might give him, what would you, it's just, just fucking get us going. A coronal, hornals and sonals. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Talk Scottish Get Football. Your butterflies now, isn't it? Episode 50, mate. Welcome. This is it. We're finally here. Should after. be about episode 65. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we missed fucking how many? Well, what we've been doing is we're saving 55 for when Rangers lift the tour. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just cancel it now. That's it. I'm That's retiring. There's a good chance that that could happen. Look, but there is a good chance. Everyone's but... asking what game will they win the league in? What episode of Talk Scottish Football will they win the league in? <laughs> Look, there's, been, there's so many reasons why this has took so long. I'm um, a lazy... Fuck up being the main one. <laughs> that, that's, that's probably the main one. As well, we wanted to make episode 50 as special as and possible. We, 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 we kind of tried and it didn't We happen. tried and failed. Um, <laughs> and, and, and we have kind of done well. We've got a con on. Um, that's nice. Yeah, Romantic. Explain why the fuck. Cause like, is that why? Is it because. <laughs> it's a birthday candle, mate. That's it. We missed the birthday episode. Whose birthday is it? DSS. We missed that. Oh, yeah. Aye, so it's Should a birthday candle. cake or something, though. Ah, could I got a wee cake? Aye. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Should I got some cake? Anyway, we're back and it's good to be back. People have been begging for this, so it's just good to sit down and Tom Miller it up. Back Mainly and back Rangers and back. fans that have been begging for this. Look, the Rangers fans have probably been wanting to hear me talk about Rangers a lot more. That's during the kind of period of absence of this show. I'm a, I'm a season ticket holder now. Yeah, so. exactly. Uh, <laughs> during the absence of during the absence of the main podcast. Uh, over that time, you have became a well-known Rangers supporter. Oh yes, I mean I the have, best manager since Wolfman. I have started the Celtic the Thunder podcast, so yeah. I've been talking in depth about Celtic every week. Great time to start a Celtic podcast. Oh, I, of course. Have you have you noticed that since the fan media has started booming with a with a you know the Celtic support as the season we go down downwards? Like the start of this season is when everybody felt kind of thought, well, let's get it. That's because Lennon's team media. talks were just videos of you telling everyone how great he was because he did that for about fucking a year before this season. <sighs> right, okay. Honestly, I was thinking about this yesterday, because obviously at the start of the season, I was slagging off Lennon, but even going back to last year, I fucking saw this a mile off, it's right, mad. I know, you did that. Well, if, you go back to the, if you go back to the very months. first episode of Talk Scottish Football... Calm the fuck down, he's shite. He's not good enough to be Celtic manager. Fuck off! Is that an impression of me, yeah, I? Yeah. <laughs> right, well, let's do a little bit of talk about football now. Today's episode, I think, is going to be I've kind I've done no research for this. That's fine, mate. Neither. It's fine. We're, we're loads of questions. Right, right, let's sit. Here's a fact. Here's a fact for the people watching at home, the regular viewers and the people that watch the show every single time. How many times have we genuinely sat down and done research and sat for a script for this show? A couple, a couple of times. The Maybe first couple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah we've got right. guests on. I, I tend to do a bit of research. Aye, if we do, right, if we've got Derek on or Peter Martin or... I do the research and send it to him so he's got it ready to go. <laughs> I'm just a pretty face. Yeah. Aye, so... Um, that shows how fucking much of a shit show we really are. <laughs> It's going to be a bit of a special episode today in terms of we've got a huge amount of questions. We do. In. Uh, and I kind of like the idea of being at the send in your questions special, you know. Since yeah, it's well, there's, there's loads of them and plus there's loads of talking points here as well. Um, we've got to cover a bit of the football though. Yes. And since the last time we sat down here. And Rangers, we haven't just done this because Rangers dropped points. That's not No, it. no, of course not. Of course <laughs> not. I said, we said, decided yesterday before the game kicked off we're going to do it today. Like, if we were to sit down today and, and, and even, if I, well, not you, if I was to sit down today and laugh at Rangers dropping points, I would be the See most the absolute weirdos laughing at Alan McGregor. I know. It's weird behaviour. Know. It's just really, like, Let's start with Rangers. The last time we, we sat down here, I don't think we could have envisioned that they are now on the verge of a an invincible season. Like yeah. as a talking point, they could do it. You could have brought it up by then, but I don't think anyone would have believed you. Um, but now they're making a really strong case for it. And I know they've slowed down a little bit and I know Hamilton could have very well beat them yesterday. But I think it'll work perfect for Rangers. I think it's a kind of put up the arse that they need. But they were slowing down even back then. They've been they've been off the boil for about two and a half months. I think this game's gonna be the wake up call for them. Go out and watch them scud their next game. But they don't even need a wake up call. That's the thing. They're so far ahead. Nah. No, that's it. No, in terms of winning, they're, they're going to win the league. We mm. all know that. That's done. But they have got a real strong case for going on and having an invincible season. I hope they don't. Um, and I think that th- there is a potential chance they will slip up potentially against Celtic. But they're making it. There's no reason right now where you can't look at that team and say they can't do it. Yeah. Because they have the, p- the 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 players. They have the quality. They have the system to go and win every game. Now, and that includes both games against Celtic. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? I mean, yesterday they were. 
they weren't great, but I thought they were largely not great. Largely down to how good Hamilton were, which is mm-hmm. amazing. You watched um, the game, of oh, course. I thought Hamilton were brilliant. But yeah, the, the bad thing is for Rangers, they could have had a lot more results like yesterday this season if they'd had some pressure on them. Yep. Like I think that I think they would have done. They would have had a few more. I don't know. How, I don't think they would have had enough more, but I think they would have had a few more to make this a little bit closer. Um, but I mean, Hamilton were just brilliant. They got scudded eight 0 at Ibrox, and mm-hmm. yesterday they go out two up top. They have a right good go. There's a bit of times they were in wide areas and they had, like, the they had like four in the box, mm-hmm. like every time. McGregor was man of the match, it tells you everything you need to know. I mean, three or four big, big chances. Yeah. Um, it was almost like that, um, you know, it could have been like that that Celtic game at Tynecastle when the invincible thing, when it just like, it all just fell apart. It's not the four now. Yeah, which what? is like, it was a, a bit of, Hamilton could have scored three or four yesterday easily. Um, it's just, you know... It's one of those games that Hamilton walk away with their held, held, head held high. They, they'll, they'll be gutted like, though, I think. I think they, deserve, they deserve more, but they, look, you can't, if you offered them a point before that yeah, game. Yeah, of course, but it's context, isn't um, it? I mean, they, they should have taken all three. Controversy with a Hamilton goal, offside, um, perhaps. Have you seen it? Uh, yeah. I, I think that it's one of those ones, I feel, you know, to cry about it when you're 20 points. I, don't think, I, I haven't seen many Rangers fans complain about it. I know, they have it. There's talk of Because they don't find well, they're, they're lucky look, to get away with that point. And look, they're, they're they're flying in the league right now. What I'd like to bring on, a point that I want to bring up, is that you kind of touched on already. Imagine the pressure was there right now. Imagine Celtic had kept themselves in a position where they could have challenged for this title. Now, that's long gone. It's not going to happen. Jonathan and Ball should be your uncle, but... Yeah, but, but if, if Celtic... I, I still been, don't think it would have been enough. Imagine if we did have the... Like, imagine it was three, four points in it. Do you think Rangers would have had the bottle to it keep It takes that? a lot to drop it down from fucking... I know, but do you do you think Rangers would have had the, oh, the nerve of the bottle? Who knows, And we'll never know. We'll, we'll never, never know. know. What I will say is, I keep saying it all the time, is every time every season with Gerrard have improved, so yep. the aspect that was missing last year was dealing with pressure. Because that's the major question right now, if you look on Celtic Twitter anyway, the points that most people are now bringing up is, if we if we made the change in November, if we appointed Eddie Howe then, there's absolutely no chance we'd have went on and won the league. But as it's if spots and maybe isn't it? there's no way I can sit here. Yeah, and say I don't, that's the there's case. no chance they would have won the league by twenty odd points. No, but I, I said at the time I, I don't care who you appoint; it's going to be an achievement if they turn it around. Mm-hmm. Because it was, I mean, even the gap in November was so ten, it was 10, points, 10 plus, yeah. Sure. And you also had to, you know, take the fact into the Rangers and the Old Farm games were, were favourites based on recent performances. I know the one at January didn't go the way we expected it to, still get the result, but. I don't know, man. I think, yeah, that would have been the interesting thing to see. If, but the fact that we're even talking about what if Celtic put pressure on them is fucking bizarre. Uh, yeah. Like, how is that even a talking point? It should have been... Like, I thought we were heading for last game, second last game title deciders. I yeah. thought, like... like the, way I'll put it, the way I'll, I'll, I'll put it to kind of end the discussion about it all is, like, both teams are exactly where they deserve to be with how they've played this season. Rangers thoroughly deserve to be top of the table the way they are. They've not lost a game. You've got to raise your hat to that. And then Celtic are quite rightly in the position they're in through the incompetence of the management. So, you know, it's, it's kind of worked out the way it should have with the yeah. performances. If you the flip the pressure thing as well, you can flip that the other way. So you've got games like yesterday where there's no pressure on them at all. Mm-hmm. And there are also games you can easily slip up in. And they almost did. Yep. Whereas what we'd have said a year ago is, well, you've got a woman, you don't play well. And they weren't doing that. Now they do do that. So there's that progression there. It's a tough one. Yeah. They, they're, not getting, they're not getting enough credit because of how bad Celtic have been. It's a it's a weird situation. We've said it all season long. Nobody's talking about Rangers, um, and that's kind of continuing because just when you think Celtic are going to kind of turn a corner, they play Saint Mirren midweek, and I'd, I'd I'd be surprised if they won. If I'm perfectly honest, I, I really no, would be. You're the same fence as me. And to end off the, the Rangers Hamilton discussion, is it the tale, is the signs been shown by Brian Rice that Hamilton are going to stay up once mm, again? Well, the signs have been shown that they're going to have a right good go because they've got two games in hand over Ross County, um, and even if they were to win one of those games. They would be on par with Ross County. Yeah, they're going to date again, aren't they? They're, they're <laughs> going to have a right good go. I, st- I don't think they're going to stay up this year. I, even if I, I think even if they get the playoffs, I'm not sure they've got the quality that they've had in recent years. They've got some effective players in there, but like some of the injuries they've had this season, like Templeton's still out. Um, you know, they're lacking a bit of quality. We'll see. I, I don't. I, I think this is finally the year. I said it. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to deviate from it now. Yeah. No, not yet. It's not like uh, a couple of weeks. there's only one person who backed the action statements in this yes, show. And I cannot wait, David and you have spoken about this briefly on a live stream. I'm sure not for the Scottish game, but I've not. I, 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 I want to bring it up now. 
David has apparently compiled a list in my notes in his notes that he's going to release at the end of the English Premier League season about every all the, prediction he's made well see I feel I feel like I've been done here because not all of them have been predictions they have been observations that a lot of people well, are, some of them have got quotes beside them so you can they? decide yourself like there's, there's ones like off, maybe off the top of my head like I wouldn't be surprised Spurs are going to do it Mourinho's back like okay 13th like, place we'll leave, we'll leave out them just now right? but like um, I don't know like, there'll be one that there I think I've put on Twitter before but wouldn't be surprised if they 21's they, they, actually like, coming home they've shat the bed haven't they by the way we're not talking about it <laughs> I'm yeah. looking forward to it yeah. I'm looking forward to it this season moving on so yeah, like, um, we'll come to them um, we'll get the Celtic Motherwell game out of the way I did not watch the game um, well let, let me give you a quick breakdown 60 minutes Celtic looked really good it's a standard you know kind of then they looked really shite and hung, yeah. hung on uh-huh. and hung on right at the end Diego lacks out clears the ball off the line Celtic how bad Scott been Another oh thing I've my called for god! I, I just just the goalkeeper situation <laughs> all just is dreadful. beyond a joke. Um, <laughs> and it, it, it makes me What's like Connor Hazard up to. Uh, he'll be next then. He's probably been the best of the three this season. <laughs> is he? I'd say so. Yeah, I mean, despite the fact they had a good penalty shootout performance, I suppose. But, but uh, none of them have had like name one good no no, no, no all of them have been tight. But if I had to pick one that's been the best out of three, <laughs> it would be Hazard, no. You're going to say Barkas, uh, aren't you? I'm um, back Barkas, mate. I'm oh back Barkas. Um, look, I, if, if that was Barkas that was in goals on, on, uh, at the weekend there, imagine the fucking scenes. Imagine what would be happening. Yeah, exactly. But like, Scott Bain should be getting criticised, but everyone's going well. But he's no. Because he's no Barkas. Which is just... But it doesn't change the fact that either he's, way... Both of them regardless are, both of the levels of criticism, it was shit either way. The way, I've, said, the way I've put this before... Is both of them are amputees. They don't have hands. It's yes. like it's, it's just. But then you keep defending Barca. Uh, I because have I, hands. because I just have faith that he can turn it round. But I'm not <laughs> giving him this chance. Look how he's been managed, man. I know. Give him a run of games. Give him a chance with Stephen Welsh in front of him, for God's sake. The fact that we're even talking about it, that's what I keep thinking. Stephen Welsh, who was like not good enough for Greenock Morton, is now Celtic's best defender. Well, he's not. Chris Iyer. Well, yeah. He's, but he's, he's the one that's getting raved about the most. Well, he had a very good game at the weekend, David. It yeah. was it was good. Uh, a solid. I think he's now solidified himself as. The, the centre back partner for for a uh, for Ayer until Ayer, the, was a right back two until weeks the ago. end of the season. Um, well, we signed John Joe Kenny. Um, you know, after that, could he have been sent off at the weekend? No, because he, he won the ball. Yeah. So, I've just seen a still. I haven't. Seen yeah, because show. that's what. So we had this discussion on the Celtic Fund. Yes, let's bring it up here because this is a this is a platform. Who was the boy that kicked out of Sorrow? That should be a red card. Um, Devante Cole. Should be a red card. Um, so we had this discussion on the Celtic Fund yesterday, right? And. It's good that we can now have it because we're not all Celtic fans, of course. Been fair, but as so, I said, I've not seen the incident in full flow. Yeah, stuff. but we're talking about why over the past week or two has social media became a point scoring contest on dodgy decisions when we all know the quality of referee. There's no such thing as a Celtic agenda. There's no such thing as a Rangers agenda. The refereeing decisions and the standard of refereeing is as poor for every team in this league. Yeah, it's dreadful. Happens to everybody. So why, know, why now has on both sides are guilty we've, we've came to this you know firing clips and stills back and forth ah, but that's the thing like oh they're against Rangers and then there'll be like five clips of decisions that should have gone against Rangers that weren't given and then it'll go the other way it's just it's it's really tiring but yeah the refs are shit that's the, the short I mean I'm sure it happens and to they've, had, they've had dreadful they've had a dreadful 10 days uh-huh. like some of the tackles have been awful yeah. and players are going to get really hurt man I don't care what anyone says. Like the Rangers game last week at St Johnson, there should be two red cards: the one by roof, roof and then the one on roof for yeah, both yeah. red mm-hmm. cards. Um, and uh, someone had said to me, and I had this debate with someone on Twitter: Roof didn't mean to do it, and he didn't hurt actually hurt the guy. It has no relevance exactly. whatsoever. Exactly, like, people mean actually anything. got to read the rules about like uh, serious foul play. It's, it's, you don't have to mean it. It's like there's a manslaughter, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> So you don't mean it, but it's, it's happened. That. <laughs> it's but like the fact that we don't have full-time refs. And, and look, shocking. I'm not comparing a, a, a football tackle to the death of someone, but no, you know what I mean. They just compare football managers to the worst people. <laughs> in this but no, you know what I mean. It, it doesn't matter if you meant it or no. no it's, it's still right. serious foul play. But not even. I mean, the one on roof as well was just completely a red card. The guy is uh, in no exactly. control of what's going on. It was excessive and all the rest of it. Um, but yeah, the, the the fact that the refs aren't full time is just shocking. And people, I'll oh, get VAR in. Can you imagine this bunch of clowns oh, operating? Jesus. Bar? The way it should be done is the way it's done in Australia. Have you seen the clips no, of that? I have not. No. Like, you can hear the crowd can hear the people on TV can hear it. Ah, the, right, okay. You can see them talking. And Aye, it works fine in Germany. Yeah, it's it so works fine in Germany too. It's nothing to do with V. This is the thing with VAR. It's nothing to do with the actual VAR. It's the way it's used. Yeah. Um, and I wouldn't trust our lot to do. No, it. I would not. But the referee and I'm sure it happens to Dunfermline as well. Terrible decisions every now and then. The, you know, the referees are worse even down the leagues, but it does even itself out. Um, so aye Celtic's performance altogether the last half an hour kind of hung on to the game but they do see themselves now take back to back wings, uh, wings, wings. wins 
Yeah. I'm still thinking about the wings. You know, last night, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but no, you know, it's two two wins now for Lennon. He, he seems like the safest man in Britain just now, doesn't four he? Four years. Four years, four more years. I was, I was just going to say four to you, CT has beat three and wins tonight, he won't get sacked. No, he won't, no. It's, <laughs> it's ridiculous. But the, what, listen to me, I'm giving your honest opinion as an outsider, not as a Celtic fan. I have my opinion, I think I know what I think is going to happen. Um, for, but, uh, well, I, I say that as if I actually I think he'll be gone in the summer. Yeah, there's no chance Dominic Mackay comes in and goes... Well, he's, he's he's side is on death wish, Dominic Mackay, if he yeah. doesn't... Yeah, exactly. Why would he want to... St- this is a guy who's apparently very fan-orientated. Yeah. So why would he want to come in and start his relationship with the fans by going he's the man for me even if he does appoint a director of football why is this director of football having to work when you win if you're going to have a director of football you need a top coach yep. mm-hmm. Take some of it takes away some of the managerial role in terms of signings and all the rest of it but in terms of the coaching you need to have a top coach um, and Neil Lennon is definitely not that yeah I, I think I've got I mean Neil Lennon has used the words surely Neil Lennon has used the words himself from his own mouth to say that I only pick the 11 that's his stance on being a coach doesn't care about the rest. Yeah. So, um, and also, what did you make about his, uh, his statement? He perversely enjoys the abuse. He's a weirdo, isn't he? He's just enjoying <laughs> the fact that the fans hate him now. Aye, it's, Which it's, the Lenin of old like enjoyed the fact that everyone else hated him, but he rallied the Celtic fans around. That's how he was kind of successful. Yeah. And now he doesn't even have that. He's just a, a he's just a tool, isn't he? Aye, a bit of a tool, bit of a tool, mate. Yeah. Uh, I'm done with him. Um, but that was that was the the two obviously. Somebody clip that. What and go back to Neil Francis <laughs> Lennon's the greatest thing since sliced bread, and then and he was, and he just threw no, he, it all away. Never, he, he no, but never. no, but he was. No, he, he, wasn't. Was, he wasn't he in was the never. sense that he was. You were right in terms of yourself. yeah, but he done the right things and the things. Mate, that I happened. could have done the right things, but that far ahead under Rogers, he could have kept that going. Yeah, well, that's your way, man. Yeah, that was him. That was in the t- we've spoke about it so many times. That was the kind of t- that was like the phase uh, out the, of, yeah, of everything with Rogers. Was, that was it was, a, it was like the end. The, 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 it comes down to like every other team still looks fitter than them. Yeah. Okay. Manager of the month, David Martindale. Yeah. Uh, lost his fella. first game. What a fella. Though. Uh, as I think, what a, what a guy. Very happy when the news came through that he passed his fit and proper. Test so that thing time. was that uh, people didn't really understand that. I listened to it on the radio. So that was nothing. To, he could have still been Livingston manager if that was uh, no. He could have still been the manager, but because he also his job title was like head of football operations, he wouldn't have been able to do that job because that involves, I think, working with youth players and all the rest of it or something. Ah, right. So there was weird things. He still could have been levy manager, but it would have been painful. Uh, but St Johnson two one and St Johnson are a, that's a kind of foreshadowing of the cup final. Yeah, know, they've had a really good first season, I think. That's one thing we've not spoke about either about the the fact that the cup final set and it's going to be Livingston St Johnston. Um, Love it. Big big day for for the the, the 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 smaller teams in Scotland. But look. You know, a very good performance from Cam Davidson's men, and, and David, you're kind of now, for a long time, of it's been kind of jumping about what could be with St Johnston and not, but you are kind of being vindicated in everything that you said about Callum Davidson. Yeah, I mean, it was a tough gig on it to take over from Tommy Wright, and he's done mm-hmm. okay. He's done really okay. He's had some really good moments, and that's the thing, because they've had inconsistency, you can still look at the games they've done really well. And they've gone on runs at times where, I think in the run up to the quarter final, when they beat us, they'd been like 10 games unbeaten. Um, so they can take them and try and make them positives kind of stick next season get some good young players but yeah they've had a good solid first season and that was a good result the weekend I mean Libby's bubble was going to burst eventually yep. um, well, and I, I kind of had a feeling it would be against a team like now that now the question is do they, do they come back from it or is it a kind of spiral just, I think they're fine I think they're mentally too strong and that seems to be the best thing you hear like Scott Robinson speaking he's talking about the, the dressing room and how a great bunch of boys and all that mentality is there and that it seems to be what Martindale's good at is you know, sort of galvanising them and making them believe they can beat anyone. I love him. He's so, brilliant. He he's, brilliant. He's brilliant. Yeah, he's um, brilliant. Everything from just... I love it when he speaks, man. I love it. It's just a wee scheme boy. See when he said uh, he asked his wife to make a coffee because he was a fit and proper person. <laughs> there, so. It's honestly like, just sitting there listening to him, like, you know, you'd think he's like five minutes down the road for me. It's just brilliant. And listening. the Martindale thing, that story's kind of... Oh, Scott Robinson's a big story as well because obviously he was at Hearts years ago mm-hmm. and did really, really well and then he gets a really bad injury, goes down the league because he's at East Fife. He comes to Dunfermline, couldn't get a contract. We didn't think he was good enough. Selling Johnston for you. And then he goes to Livingston and it's just... Unbelievable now. Yeah. He's gone from being a pretty solid midfielder in the team to like their main striker he was for a bit. He was scoring loads of goals and stuff and what a player he is. And like you've got to wonder if come like the first internationals before the next internationals, whether Steve Clark will look to some of the Livy boys. I mean yeah. guys like they Devlin chance, perhaps. Robinson maybe. And I mean, look, you've got it remember, might not happen, but, but, but you've got to remember is Livingston have, have been developing players that have later been going on to the national exactly. team. So they can look beyond that next step and maybe give these guys a chance. You look at Dick Gallagher, you look at Lyndon Dykes. Um, Even someone like, like Craig Halkett yeah, at Hearts uh-huh. has left and if he wasn't in the championship you know, People there's half a chance you'd be in with a shirt. So, yeah. you, Livingston, perhaps, maybe the, the, the boy cut that middle stage and they, they just cut it. Right I, I don't think it'll happen, but I think they'll be in the thoughts of Steve Clark now, which is a big 
The, one of the big stories I want to talk about is, is St Mirren because the last time we spoke about them in this show they looked down and out as much as I can remember anyway they, they were looked, good one though but Tony Fitzpatrick said it he wanted it to be a top six side they are now a top six side for the time being <laughs> the turnaround by Jim Goodwin has been incredible over there and we have both alluded to the fact we thought it was coming both of yeah. us had hope in Jim Goodwin, Love Jim Goodwin and now it's kind of been as I used earlier vindicated he's a uh, he's going to be one that's been for a shout or like a I mean this we'll come to Aberdeen I know but like if an Aberdeen job came up Jim Goodwin would be a more shout he's done so so well um yeah, delighted. And they, they, they kind of try to play decent football at times, St. Mirren. They've got a habit of upsetting the big boys as well. They've got a decent record against Aberdeen. Obviously, beat Rangers this season, one of the teams to do it domestically. Beat Celtic, obviously, at Parkhead. Um, and I know Celtic were shit that day. St. Mirren were really, really, really good. And mm-hmm. they were unlucky against Levy in the semi final. I don't think they quite had enough quality, but I mean, decent cup run. Now they're in the top six, and just wow. I mean, this, and, th- and that, that, that fifth and sixth spot are so. Sorry, the sixth spot is so open now. But the thing is about St Mirren, they have found themselves in a great position because they have three games in hand over Dundee United, St Johnson. Two what games a difference in hand, that not having the points. Two, taken away exactly, has made. two games in hand over Livingston. You know, all of a sudden you're looking at St Mirren to perhaps be a side who can establish themselves if they use their three games to their advantage. Granted, ones against Celtic, but if they use those games to their advantage, you know, they could solidify themselves as a, a top five side. We always said the top four was locked in. Um, and obviously since then Levy have gone the run so that kind of makes it a top five but definitely that sixth spot is up for grabs I mean Dundee United are faltering they, they flatter to deceive United a little bit um, there's loads of teams in around there if they put a run together I mean Kilmarnock now I know they're not looking great just now but if they put you know four or five wins together guys like that can fly out the league table um, so yeah but St Mirren I think will, will fancy themselves to keep them in that top six and on the other side of that game Kilmarnock still manager list is it Tommy well, Wright? well no it's Tommy Wright oh has yeah. it been announced aye eh? oh there you go I don't believe it was announced. Right, we did the slightest bit of research, like, ch- check Twitter this morning. Was that announced this morning? Yeah, well, there you go. I, I mean, it was the talk, you know, he was the favourite for the job. It was apparently going to happen, and now we know it has Perfect happened. appointment for Kelly. Yeah, Absolutely perfect. So, he'll keep them up. Um, yeah, of course he will. I can see them. I mean, they've got a squad there that's far too good to be what it is. I mean, yep. they've quality players um, in among some that are maybe not so quality, but they have got a decent court of that spine. Court of that spine? Spine of that? No, I, I used both of them around, so I should have just used one of them. Um, <laughs> decent court of that squad. Uh, so, I think he'll get them going. But, yeah, there's no chance they'll go down. No well, a big appointment then. Uh, big news that I have only just found out. So, great. I'm not being nice on Twitter that much today. Surprise, surprise for me. He's tweeted a few times for a guy who's not been on Twitter. Ah, but I've no scrolled. I've just nah. tweeted. You, you see, the thing is with Twitter, for me, it's generally... Open, you, talk shit. It's used for how it's meant to be used. You know, it's for putting out a thought that is bizarre. Yeah. Like yesterday, I was like, I just went to say Bob Seger, like this. Is that simple? Uh, and so I just going on Spotify and putting it on. I couldn't. I was in work. Yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah, pods. Oh, you can't, you're not allowed to walk about with AirPods. You walk around work watching the Celtic game on your phone, so what difference does that well, make? Well, aye, but that's on the sly, isn't it? You can't really be sly with AirPods sticking here. With a hat, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> You'd look like a fucking shoplifter. Yeah. Yeah, the bunner one. Um, shoplifter and... or the Tesco uniform one. <laughs> You never know. If I was going yeah, to go shoplifting, that's probably not how I disguise it. Actually, actually, it's probably the most successful yeah, way. Yeah, it would be good. Because there's been, a lot of people have been done for it. A lot mm-hmm. of people. Um, that's actually how I got my job in there. What, my shoplifting? <laughs> I just, I just realised it. No, basically, the, the woman who I went to, So I joined a Christmas temp, and the woman, the only reason I got her job was a Christmas temp. She was suspended for getting caught shoplifting. Right. And then she got sacked two months later after an investigation. Turns out she shoplifted tons, and they just never oh, knew. Right. So they said, oh, she's been sacked. You want her job permanently. And I was like, Aye. I'll do right? so that's how I got a job and finally surely McInnes is away soon he can't have yeah so way. a mate of mine Aberdeen fan messaged me last night saying he thinks he's going to be gone today we'll see if that happens or not um, I think it was a load of shite but we'll see he was like oh they went did a big Zoom meeting yesterday the players went in and didn't it's train or if, <laughs> don't know but he seems to be a guy who's in trouble I can't see a world in which Aberdeen sack him because they're so skint and so struggling financially that I can't imagine how long's left in his contract you know I don't know but I think it's a sizable payoff anyway um, so I can't uh, he might walk but it's mad though they're still going to probably finish third I would say you think so? yeah I do you think, think so do you think they'll beat Hibster? yeah I think so Hibs, we know what Hibs are like I know I Hibs, have, Hibs have kind of faltered but now with the win over Aberdeen would you not say it kind of puts them in pole position for that third place? yeah probably but I don't trust Hibs to follow that through mm. um, I would. I still fancy Aberdeen to you know scrape it together but the fact that they're even still in the and someone said I saw this thing on Twitter yesterday the fact before Derek McInnes, right? Aberdeen weren't finishing third every season. They just weren't, yeah. and they were never well, this. Team well, down at eighth, ninth. And I, I, said, I said it to you this time last year. It's just boredom. They just want something fresh. I think. Yeah. So and he's he's a victim of his own success. Regular cup finals, uh, finishing third, regularly being in Europe. 
So now there's a threat that he might not finish there and he might not get a cup final. That sign is now a sacking offence, which is bizarre. And uh, that I think you're spot on in saying it just does come down to something fresh. I think. Of course, that, I mean, and I think they're quite right in saying that because you know, for as, as successful as they've been in such, I think the fans are entitled for enter- to entertainment. I think that's just you know that's football. You want that things do get boring quite quickly. I mean, you look at teams in England who've obviously kept managers for a long time and it's worked like Ferguson and Wenger. Well, Wenger to a lesser extent, but, you know, they, these were guys who were genuinely bringing something entertaining and big players and stuff. You don't quite get that Aberdeen, so I can understand it in Scotland why you The Scott Wright deal was so bizarre. Like, why did they have to leave in January? I don't get the reason behind that. Mm. Cause, and then, like, both of them were going anyway. McCrory coming in, was coming in in the summer anyway and he was going to be there till the summer. So Aberdeen fans were annoyed at that. And then they didn't bring in a centre half when they should have run. They brought three strikers in on loan. Isn't exactly preparing well yeah. for the future. Um, after getting some money in for Cosgrove, they didn't reinvest. So there's a lot of frustration there. The boy Hernandez, the defender, there's like a big hoo ha about like, who, like who's paying his wages and stuff. Like I don't, I don't really understand it. But there's lots of discontent at Aberdeen amongst the supporters, and McInnes is facing the brunt of it. But I, I think he will be. Not their next season. Yeah, I would agree with you. I'd be inclined to agree. And finally, on, on that note, Hibs, Mark Boyle with a double, Jack Ross looking back, getting look, looking to get back to winning ways. Um, and I think they will. I do. I, I know you said you don't trust them to go and finish third. I, I do believe there is a slip up there in them, but I think for the next three, four, five games. Two maybe, clubs that could finish third and both fans are turned to the managers. You talking about Celtic? No. Well, yeah, <laughs> even actually, yeah. Right, so three of the top four, ah, they hate the manager. Yep, exactly. Um, it's bizarre. crazy. It is bizarre. And Jack Ross has come under so much pressure after the Cup semi-final. The Nisbet thing was a bit bizarre. I don't really understand why they turned it down, actually. No, um, you're just wanting the money. Of course I'm wanting the money. But also, two point, what was it? it got up to about 2.6 million. He obviously wanted to go... Um, they've now, I don't know if he started at the weekend, but he, he was on the bench last weekend. So it, it just and the Ryan Porteous deal as well. Again, I don't know why they didn't let him go. I like the comparison that, that Kieran Old made to Kevin Nisbet, and he is quite frankly living the life of a FIFA player. He's career. just getting bored. And he's going FIFA player career. Boom, 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 but boom, you, boom. The difference in money he will make. At oh, huge! Birmingham to Hibs. Huge. Ridiculous. Oh, n- well, double, maybe triple. And see people that think, why would he want to go? But why wouldn't he want to I go? Know. The money is it's the life changing. Birmingham, you know, big city, big enough team. The money is life changing. Go and score big like stadium, goals big in fan the base. And you're you know, ah, exactly. But here's the danger now: is if he doesn't play well between now and the summer, that he's not going to sell for any more in the summer than he would have done in January. Mm-hmm. You know, and they've got they've got a striker there who's good enough to score goals in Dodge. So I I, I thought they should have sold him. Um, but yeah, but interesting. And would Portis, you, I would have cast him as well. Would you have followed him to Birmingham if he went? Would you become a part time? No, he, he's done, he's done his business for me now. If he makes us that money. I mean, you're talking. It could have been like apparently it's like thirty percent, which is just it's huge for you guys. Huge. I mean, if guys. he go, there's a realistic world world where if he goes and scores a good amount of goals for the summer, we could get like a million quid off that, which is just. Yep. Well, it massive. kind of this is the point where we now, as you bring up the infirm one too, we would now segue normally into the championship. Uh, well, 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 I don't. Um, we're not going to do game by game, but we'll, we might get. So, but the, the good thing is, in case you have missed, it, in case you've not watched yet, David, you're the star of your own show, mate. I'm not a star. Adam's a star. It's Adam's a star. He's you and Adam kicking my ass in predictions anyway. <laughs> I'm very happy to have Adam on board uh, as part yeah. of the, the, the top Scottish football team. And look, uh, the championship show is available to watch. David and Adam are, are currently the two guys weekly on it, discussing what's happening there. So it means now on this podcast, on the Talk Scottish football show, we probably won't dive as much in depth because you'll do it with, with Adam. Um, we'll probably skim through League 1 and 2, though. Yeah, we'll skim through all three leagues. We'll have a brief conversation about the table and such. Hearts are now, you know, they're flying. Um, since the last time we They're spoke, not flying. Well, they're, 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 they're miles ahead. They're miles ahead. I'm not fucked, but they're miles ahead. Now, they've won their last they're, three. They're, they're so They've won average, their last man. three. Um, it really frustrates me how average they are. Well, I've seen them play us twice and... Mental at the way for a better team than you, but... Mental in it, uh, and four one by us last week. <laughs> <with their best laughs> Try to you up. Um, no, but like a good weekend in the championship. To be honest, was it? Oh, I thought it was quite good. I was uh, well, for the Coutons, it was. I. <laughs> and uh, then Fairman up prof David. What happened? Oh, well, I've got two shows to talk about that game this week. I'm not talking about it here as well. <laughs> I'm so pissed off still. Um, and I've goodness. not been pissed off with us for a while. I can't yep. even when we get beat. I'm like, ah, it's I know because usually uh, you've you've been, you've been the one who since I've met you who's been, dri- who's been driving the Crawford party bus. Oh ah, yes, and, and it's still it's still still doing really well. 
But that was just shocking at the weekend. But right. we're not diving into it here. They're playing against the wind and all that. Dude. And do you know what I reckon? Yeah, and then playing with the wind for 45 minutes and not fucking using it. I reckon that I reckon that the downfall has been the fact you've not been able to go to the last couple of games, mate. That's right. I think that's it. Well, not really, because they were amazing at Wednesday night when I wasn't there. Well, right. The best performance of the season wins the and I missed that. Uh, yeah, so. Well, well the weekend. <laughs> yeah, we might have been there and you weren't there. Back on Saturday, so hopefully that makes Well, Championship good. table anyway, Hearts are just kind of flying away. At League One, um, look down the. Oh, I've got English League Al One. Al and I both, <laughs> both won the weekend, it's good down the bottom. I said that though, they, they seem, to, seem to both win at the same time. Yeah. Like, that's been kind of you know as you as you just said that's kind of everything we feel like we speak about one of them winning on here one wins, you know, yeah. one wins. Uh, and Scottish League won um, nothing it, happened no exactly did yeah. but the, the, the story about League 1 and League 2 is that they might be back soon um, they sh- I don't know if it's confirmed yet but they might be going back to training next week I heard no you'd like um, to hope the cameras, so the camera's uh, done but I don't know how long it's been done for yeah so League 1 and League 2 might be back soon hopefully I really feel for fans of League 1 and League 2 teams I mean apart from Falkirk obviously but um, it must be horrible like not having I see the, the top the championship getting stopped I was like oh my god please no but that should be back soon the SFA need to pay for the testing um, and then it'll be fine so the, the point I was going to bring up just before we spoke about them being off is so the last time we were on here, well, they weren't stopped yet, no, were they? No, so they w- the kind of point that we've left off at, and just to b- touch on very quickly, Falk up two points clear at the top of League One, and League Two you've got Queens Park who are you know not 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 flying away. It was only four points, isn't it? Five points. Yeah, amazing it, but but yeah, you, 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 you'd expect though Queens Park with yep. the way they've been playing to go yep. and, and go and win that. Um, Called it sort of yeah. Yeah, but so at the moment I've got League One, League Two. And the championship right, just not the premiership. So I've not, I've not got the premiership right so far. Championship I back. <sighs> the firm one. Did I back the yes. firm one to win it? So I, I think you did anyway. I, 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 I don't know if I did. I think I said you could get a fair whack, but I, I can't think remember. You might have done I think I might have. No, I did I not say they'd go up for the playoffs? Maybe. I think I did, because I'm sure I said Hearts, and fair to go up for the playoffs. I remember that I was the most adamant that Hearts would win it anyway. I League One I had Thistle. I had Partick, that's right, who are mints. And uh, League Two, I had Queen's Park, I'm sure. So. I don't think you did. I think I did. I think you had Edinburgh City. Did I have Edinburgh City? I don't know. I was driving the Queen's Park bus. Maybe. Maybe. I paid attention to the January signings. Oh, did you? The January signings? The uh, summer signings. Oh, yeah. So let's see. The world's yeah, a bit hard to fucking look forward to January back then. Right, okay. That's 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 that all done. Um, so it means let's have a bit of fun for the rest of today's episode. Since it is the 50th, let's cut the football chat a bit early. I think we're just over half an hour into today's show. So it means we can spend the next wee while just talking uh, what the viewers want to hear from us, I suppose. Um, because, you know, it's a special landmark, Dave. It's not every day you make it to 50 episodes. No. It's, it's crazy, though, because when you actually think about it, so if you take away this month alone, where we've not made podcasts, right? Mm-hmm. You take away the football being stopped last March mm-hmm. and the big break there, and you talk about the wee tiny breaks we've had every now and then through bits of laziness. And the fact I was at home for ages. And that, yeah, you know, we could be on that episode, God knows what, you know, a hundred. Uh, we're, we're just over a year, we're on 3,191 subs. Fantastic. I'm just, just unsubscribed as I fucking refresh that. How annoying is that? What are you playing at? <laughs> I can message you on Instagram. I see you down, what was that McDonald's word? Delmar McDonald's. She's doing Delmar McDonald's. <laughs> um, right, question. Spunkphone asks, do you like Hayley Williams? <laughs> he had to ask it on this show, didn't he? Because he asked it on the Celtic like Thunder. I love Hayley Williams, I would never drink anything else. <laughs> uh, That's always my answer. This show's got nothing to do with washing machines. <laughs> Fuck am I all about? Uh, big fan, mate, big fan. Not as big a fan as you, though. Ryan um, McGinley's a big fan. Is he? Yeah, I'm a big fan. There's some really sus questions coming in here. <laughs> This is it. It's all about the fun, mate. It's all about the fun. I like, um, I Mark like Fletcher that. asks a question which I really like. He said, should more effort be made in schools to educate children on the difference between the Irish flag and the Ivory Coast flag? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Probably, yes, absolutely. The yeah. way that, look, this is the, so for anybody who doesn't understand the difference and continuously, seriously uses Ivory Coast flag, not ironically to take the piss, if you genuinely keep picking the wrong flag, <laughs> remember it like this. What do you say it like when you're talking about the colours? Do you say green, white and gold? What order is the Ireland flag in? Green, white, and gold. That's how you remember it. Oh, well. That's that's the way. Simple. That's how I remember it. I used it back when I was ten years old, and I was cautious, cautious of using Ivory Coast flags. Um, what Big Dom sixty seven asks? Oh, Big Dom. What do you think of Diego Luxell trying to steal your yours and his demographic? On I know. Twitch? Do you see that's him streaming now? Leonard out. <laughs> Leonard out. <laughs> that wasn't him. It was his mate. Was it not? Oh, was it? I don't no, know. I've, I've, I've no. I've no. I've no. I just heard about mate. him. Look. Um, wait. Stealing my fans. What a joke, by the way. You're fucking 20 odd points behind the league title. Get off fucking Fortnite and get training. 
I, I'm a big advocate for players having lives outside football and doing things they enjoy, but not when you're fucking 21 points behind it in the biggest season in your club's fucking history. No. Why is nobody having a word with him? I'm, I, do you not agree with me? Well, what time was he streaming that? Who gives a shit? He should not be doing it. Yeah, Have some fucking self-awareness and self fucking discipline. No, he's no That's he, my he, head. He, in he that. probably isn't worried. He won't be young next year. I know, but the fact that he doesn't give a shit tells you the whole fucking problem. Yeah. I think that, it's a joke. I know, I, I get what you've cut. It's, it's Under normal circumstances, fine. Do what you want. You're allowed a life. Enjoy yourself, all the rest of it. But no, not in these circumstances. Fucking head down, man. Beer can, boys. Yeah, but like, I, I feel like it's such a da with that opinion, but it's literally the circumstances. No, I know, no, mate. I think you're quite right. I think you're quite right, mate. I just think that at the same time, yeah, I've got to just be realistic with, with how the modern world is and, and perhaps how players... You know they'll go and do their bits. Maybe they should be allowed to do that at night. I, I don't know. I can. See, I think I can. A... I think I can. As a Celtic fan, I completely understand what you're saying, and I, I, I am very much inclined to agree with you. I think I spot on. Get out to a fucking five or six. See when Rangers were doing <laughs> shit last season. If a Rangers player was doing that, Gerard would have gone fucking through him. Hmm. Well, Lennon's not going it because you know what Lennon's doing. Fucking drinking, probably. That's that's not funny. Well, I, I, yes, <laughs> I, I don't know. I know, but I mean, he probably is just sitting in the house having a beer, having a snooze. And, and sit and put his feet up. Speaking of snooze. Yeah, speaking of snooze. Yeah, yeah, yeah tub down there. Doesn't like it though. Yeah, it's too hardcore for the snooze. Fuck it. His nicotine intake is far too fucking high to withstand it. Here's the been off the fags going anyway. Um, it's been alright. No, it's been alright. Right. Inconsistent, shall we say. Inconsistent. It's been the drinking. You dropped a few points in the past couple of weeks. Oh, right. just drinking, eh? Just when you're drinking. No, but like that's what's kind of buggered for me. But I've no boat, I never pack it now. So that I'm doing alright now. Uh, no you said you said it. to me like three weeks ago you had one left and you've had about fucking two packs worth since. So. <laughs> No, I've got, none the I've got none of the new. Smell my horns, mate. No, I'd rather not. <laughs> Fuck knows where they've been. Um, right. Uh, someone's, the James W has asked for a live snuff review, but I suppose we've just kind of done that. I've preempted that question. Oh, um, who will win the Scottish Cup if it's played? I've completely forgot about the Scottish Cup. I'd, I'd, All I know is... Oh, who the fuck have we got? Are we still in it? Are we are still in it. I completely forgot about the Scottish Cup. Uh, it's just, are we still in it? I don't know. Are you in it? I don't, I have can't you played remember. in it yet? No. No, I certainly haven't played. You've got yet. Clyde. Or aye, we've got. Uh, no, I. I mean that up. They, uh, no, we've got somebody. Has anyone else completely forgot about the Scottish Cup? <laughs> Why do you feel like you've got Clyde? I at feel home? like we had Clyde. No, we had Clyde last year. Did we have Clyde? No, the Rangers not have Scottish Cup. Let's see. So basically, the answer is because it's been cancelled. Everyone's forgotten about it. Aye, because the leagues get cancelled the week before Scottish Cup weekend, and we were due to play. Who the fuck were we due to play? Rangers have got Sterling Albion. Right, okay, who have you got? Um, and Celtic have got... Christ, it's a big bloody list. I can't even tell you if they're are still in the Scottish Cup. Has it even been played yet? This is the first round draw, apparently. Aye, so who the fuck have we got? Where the fuck is Celtic? Are Celtic no in it? Have you? <laughs> no, this is... What round is that? First, where the fuck did I see Rangers playing Sterling Albion? Where's... Mate, I'm. This I'm is why I always control the fixtures. No, it's Berwick Rangers that have got Sterling Albion. My apologies. Um, all right, so the first round's been in play. That's all been. Oh, no, is that been and gone? That's the only thing I can find for the stage set for the. Ah, here we go. Stage set for the Scottish Cup third round. I was looking at the wrong, the wrong article. So the Scottish Cup third round, um, Celtic will play either a bro for Falkirk at Celtic Park, right? And Rangers will be taking on Cove Rangers at Ibrox. That's right. And in Fernlin, are you anywhere to be seen? Who the fuck are we? Oh, we've got East Fife. Ah, that's right, we had Morton, that was it. Because we were supposed to play Morton like three times in a week and it all got cancelled. Well, that was longer than it should be. So who will win the Scottish Cup, Ryan? Um, Rangers will win the Scottish Cup. Celtic. <laughs> we've got to do something, surely. Right. Surely, that's the way I'm looking at it. Like, surely if Lennon's that desperate to hold on to if this If they job, can't do league football where you, you can avoid to slip up, how are they going to be able to do the Scottish Cup final when, Scottish Cup when you've got to win every game? Mate, we're already doing one cup, but surely, if he's wanting to grab this bit of horns and keep this goal, surely he's going to win something. He's grabbing it with a tail, it's fucking gone. I, I mean, I don't want him to, but I mean, you, you know, surely he's got to get something out of them, so I'm going to go say Celtic. I mean, I don't I don't think it's as clean cut this year as saying that anybody can win it. It could be, it generally can be anyone, as we've seen with the Betfred Cup. Be Rangers. Um, right, moving on. Question for Ryan from Declan Cairns. He says, where's your title gone? Where's your title gone? That's in reference to the Football Manager. Uh, if anyone wants to go back and watch that. It's probably in reference to both that and real life. Probably, but I think Declan... Uh, well, ah, yeah, actually that's right. I'm just more in a Football Manager mindset. Um, I'm not going to sing the song, because it's obviously yours, so you want to keep it for March. <laughs> I got a tail and off for singing that song by the way because he wants it for his merch yeah uh, serious tail and off right <laughs> Declan says alright serious uh, okay serious lads favourite episode so cards <laughs> fuck off it's the best man um, favourite episode of the podcast yeah it would, it would have to be Derek if you're talking all together if it was one that's just sitting here chatting with us Oh god, there's, you can't. Even, it's hard I've to said think. Said this on the stream yesterday. I can't even remember, but there's been some crackers. There has been some brilliant. There's been ones where I finished that went. That's been brilliant. 
You know, it's been ones that you finish up and you're like, that's really good. Always when we've got someone else on. Yeah. There's been a few. Yeah, Calum Keelan. There's been a few good with him. Div, of course. I think my favourite one, perhaps, maybe is the the one before the first ultimate this season. Because it is this now, season, who was Div on for that? Nah, nah, it just lives on in memory. I mean, we, we sat down, mind we done the, the day of recording, we we done the best combined old from eleven oh, where yeah, you played the referee, and then yeah. we done the podcast because that day has turned into what is now forever my meme. So you know, <coughs> yeah, that was. Good that's fun. one thing we've not spoke about the clips since we last done this, man. The clips have been going mad. Yeah, it's just expected now, isn't yeah. it? Um, yeah, for me, I don't know. Derek was good. What else did I like? I liked Andy Barman, but it's got like no views. I thought it was brilliant because I thought it was really interesting. Nah, it was good. That's one of the most interesting ones uh, in terms of learning stuff about like kits and all that. I love that. I was um, but again, it's got like four hundred views. Go watch that, people. It was really interesting. It was. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. There's probably loads. Episode one. The episode, romance. Begins. Episode one was good. I liked episode one. Uh, listen back. It's, it's it doesn't crazy. make me cringe as much as I think it would. Uh, I've got a bit more of a trying too hard professional voice on. Right. But it it's, it's, no, it's, the, the difference is crazy. I uh, yeah, listen because obviously I, I've no, I've, cha- I've no changed. I yeah. just speak the way I've always. I, I, just, I speak a little bit more soft, like I want a job on the radio. Yeah, but it do was crazy. Thinking back to that first episode, the, the setting in which we done it. Um, I would take a job on the radio if it's going, by the way. Uh, oh, I. Um, have you, do you remember those booths we used to do the so first good, ones man. in? Soundproof walls and all It was just like, but it was the, the thing I hated about it was that we both had to sit. Oh, like, like this, right. Yeah, we both had oh, to no. sit, you know, like beside each other. We weren't like looking at each other, sort right. of thing. No, well, depends what's wrong. Oh, aye, and those wee ones, aye. Aye, they wee, but aye, no, the, the, the ones, the big booth was class. Like, that's good. But they wee, that was all in the college folk, if everyone was wondering. And then. Yeah. Uh-huh. But, um, the world turned upside down. Um, but, no, there's been a few good ones in there, aye. Yeah, so I basically I don't know was the answer my answer to that. Um, which team in the top flight has done the best January business? Um, I thought Hibs done really good business on paper. Yeah, um, I suppose keeping keeping them two is probably good. Yep, and then bringing in Jackson um, Irvin and um, yeah, Nicky Cadden as well. Nicky yeah, Cadden. I think um, no, not Nicky Cadden, Chris Cadden. Chris Cadden, I you see you. Nicky Cadden, ex Morton. Um, but no, I've, I, think, bring, I think I think on a couple more. I think on paper Hibs had a very very good win. Goalie as well, Matt. Yep, that's bottom. right. Aye, I would I would say Hibs. I, I don't know if it's going to work out. We'll see. We'll soon see. But it's very yeah, very probably, probably. In terms of on the park, they're in the best business. And I still think financially, should let go one of them two they got offers for. Um, I mean Aberdeen. I don't know. I think if they'd made a couple of loan signings, permanent ones, I would have maybe gone with. Ah, it's weird though because a lot of their fans are unhappy. But I think like Fraser Hornby could be a good player. Cal Henry's a good mm-hmm. loan signing. Camberry could be a good player. Um, but again, don't know. I suppose Rangers have done reasonable business in terms of keeping everyone, adding a, few for the, adding a few for the future that have come in. I mean, obviously, Simpson's come in, Scott Wright coming in, um, so that's good. Uh, Certainly wasn't the Celtic. Celtic wasn't Celtic, no. If they'd added like three more, maybe, because Kenny's a good signing. Kenny, if they managed to get Kenny, Ben Davies, uh, with maybe a winger of some sort, some that form, could be reasonable. That would have been a good window, but... Here we are. Yeah, just the uh, hips. Yeah, I'll go with hips. Why not? Why not? Why Someone not? else has asked for Haley Williams' opinions, but the fact that you've next spunk from Spartan means I'm not even going to say your name on here. You're a joke. <laughs> All right, oh, nice, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Joking. Um, where else are we? This Lewis is... Laird says, Top work as always, lads. Been superb for watching you all the way through. Any future thoughts or plans for the podcast that can be revealed? What a man. Well, we're, th- we're now at the point that. So, the way I've. I've Lockdown and COVID have fucked us. Yeah, exactly. The way I've. Like, there's a lot of things to discuss, and when the world comes back to normal, well, I have this grand vision. <laughs> and um, I want I want us to do as much as we can with, you know, as many people as we can that's affordable, which has got resources to do it. And there's so many things that I want to do, and so many people that would be ha- great to have on board. Yeah, there's something that's not happened yet that I want to happen. I've said it a few times. I want videos on this channel that we have nothing to do with. Yeah. Uh, other, like, other yeah, than watching like, do you remember do you remember the fine brothers like no. do you not you know it's like kids reactor like teens reactor youtubers oh, ringing react, a bell youtubers react rings a bell aye like so basically for years it was just fine and Rafi eh, sorry Rafi and the second what was his other one Rafi and who there was two of them the fine brothers right and for years it was generally them in a tiny studio filming and doing everything now you never see them yeah. and the channel's huge you never see them they come in for a special occasion and that's Just it shake the bank out. Right. yeah I would love that so basically all we do is look at a video and go that's great put that up like there's pe- people like Lewis in the future would be cracking to have involved in certain things yeah, we've, got, we've got good people involved already yeah. um, but just 
as, just as we logistics grow enough. and go and Not different things, the world opens up, then then it becomes realistic to do other things. And there's we've all we've spoken about. There's been many a steaming conversation had where we have spoke about different things that we want to do on here. A few series that involve different people like Callum and Kieran, and there's all different things. And trust me, as the world gets into a normal situation, hopefully in the coming months, that you you'll hear. Yeah, hope so. Um, Aidan Drennan asks, is Aidan Drennan your favourite viewer? No. I was, I was nasty that. He came into my stream last night and as soon as he came in, we literally lost our first game as soon as he fucking arrived. And he knows it too. So There's a few uh, over the streams we've built quite Oh, there's loads. And it's actually actually built up again in the last few. The FM's built it up big time. Yep. yep. Guys like Luke, Declan have all come in. Declan's great with the memes. On my um, side, there's just an army. No, it's, been kind of, sure. it's been kind of spearheaded by David Hunter. Oh, I David he's, Hunter's he's, a regular. He's now. just been spearheading it, you know. But yeah, there's a, there's a, uh, yeah, there's, there's loads, mate. I don't have one favorite. Do I have a favorite? Let me think. Um, me. Do I have a favorite? Makira. <laughs> Makira. Yeah. Makira. Nah, yeah, great show. Yeah, no, I don't have a favorite. These are all. I'm like a, a parent with eight children. <laughs> I don't have a favourite. I love his only clue. Right, moving on. Um, no, wait, 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 has a favourite. Luke Conway asks, why are you specky? I'm fucking blind in one eye, basically. Nice. Um, well, uh, Matthew Duff and his and his on his burner account that is um, our fan account um, ask, will Martin Dale <laughs> win? He gave me a tailing off. Why? Um, for replying to one of the tweets. He'd probably have to be a favourite viewer just for dedication. He, he took me off for using his name on, to one of those tweets because he occasionally changes that name that account name to like a Spanish newspaper and tells everyone <laughs> that fucking Celtic are sending some plumber from fucking but what was it what is he Matthew saying uh, he said will manager win will Martin Deal win manager of the year if he wins the league cup and finishes third yes if he does both them things yes I would like Otherwise, to no. I would like to say yes he definitely will if he does those things without a doubt but do you not think they'll look at Gerard doing it's a bigger what he will have done will be a bigger achievement in terms I of, like that. in terms of, no, <laughs> in like terms that. of, in terms of, it would be it's easier no, for Gerard to win the league. No, 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 yeah, of course, of course. Good. No, I think you're spot on with that because I would say the same thing. I'd, you know, when but otherwise no, when Celtic, unless the, the, the occasional takeaway is Brendan Rodgers winning the invincible treble, like in those seasons afterwards, Stevie Clark was well deserving of yeah. his Magic of the Year awards. Dick Campbell won it one year as well, did he not? I'm sure. Um, when he got our oh, up. did he? I think he might have done. Um, Adam Kennedy asked, "Will both Hearts and the film be promoted?" I'm not taking no for an answer. I said yes at the start of the season, so I'm going to stick to it. I'm going to say no. Wow, that's a shame on Hearts. I know, that's poor. I mean, they've done so well. <laughs> uh, no, fuck knows. I don't, I'm, I'm. I, You're not going to get up. I've got this moral quandary where I'm not even sure I want us to go up this year. Yeah, I think I'm ready. Not even that. I just don't want to miss it. Do you know what I mean? Ah, uh-huh, uh-huh. don't want to miss it. It's like if we won ten at home, I'd like. But, but David, you must admit. I'm I'm filled with confidence. We'll be in a stadium over the next couple of months. Oh yeah, aye. You fucking deluded not me. Two, three, not not sixty thousand people and such, but not I, this season. No chance. You know, not so. a hope in there. No, even if they get. They're talking about maybe September. Jason Leach is saying. Oh, for fuck's sake, he said he's that. hopeful they might be in by September. Christ. Fuck okay. that. No, I'm thinking next May if we can be back. Fucking great. We'll be up by then. Uh, do I, I don't think. But wait, no, I don't, I don't think. If my heart, I my head's I don't. I don't go get up. it though because you know, we not many have like the. the the vaccines are well on track. Yeah, but it doesn't and make a difference. There's still going to be fucking restrictions and shit. It's stupid. I don't want to get into it. But there's not a hope in hell we'll be in stadiums. I am actually at the point now where I'm not even sure we'll be in stadiums for the Euros. It will 100% not be capacity. I don't, I'm not even sure. Like, I'm pissed off at my flights for London now because they're not going to be fucking used. But anyway. Well, mine's going to be used. I'll be going down. <laughs> yeah. Um, Wait, what do you mean? Ah, yeah. I'll well, be going <laughs> away for a weekend. I hope for you. you can, we can fucking do that. Right, okay. Um, Matthew... Fakeney asks, has the growth of the channel changed our ambitions from where we were last year to now? Ah. Well, I said, mm, I don't know, yeah, because I thought we'd, I, my plan was to get 1,000 subs by a year and we had 3,000. Well, alright, okay, so I, I thought you meant because of how we've grown, has my ambitions and such changed? No, so like from a year right, ago, okay, right, right. where did we think we'd be talking about now? Uh, it should have done, but it's not because of Covid. Yep. So it should have done, yep. but it, it hasn't. Like yeah, we, 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 well, as camp. everybody has been, we've been restricted by what the fuck's been going on. Um, what else have we got here? I'll, I'll move over. To, there was, did people reply to your quoted tweet? That's the question. I think there's a few more that I've kind of missed. Anyway, let's go here. Um, Sean Ronan asks, opinions on Celtic and Rangers Colts joining the lower leagues. That's a video in itself. I'm initially not that keen unless they extend the league. If they make the leagues bigger to fit them in, okay, I can maybe get behind it. Or maybe not care. Um, but if they if they take the place of other teams from the lower league, <coughs> league then no. But 
I don't suppose. <coughs> just swipe obviously, you, every, every Celtic Rangers fan will want them in, obviously, because why wouldn't they? Um, do you think Celtic summer rebuild should be centred around players like Sorrow, Turnbull, and Welsh? Uh, no, it should not be centred around Stephen Welsh because you're not going to win the league if you try and build a defence with Stephen Welsh. <coughs> Turnbull and Sorrow, absolutely. Turnbull, yes, is the only one you should build a team around. I think it better than Sorrow. Okay. Yeah, I don't think he's a nailed on starter. I think he can get a squad good enough that he doesn't become nailed on. Great squad player, will probably play a lot of games, but I don't think. He's I think, at the level he, he's I think in a year's round. time, he'll be a very good player. Uh, he's already. Turnbull's good the player, one you should build your team around for the next. No, no, five yeah, Turnbull's the one you build the team around. Yeah, absolutely. Sorrow's a great player to have, and we'll probably play loads of games, but I don't think he's good enough to build a team around. Okay. Um, you know, I don't think he's better than Callum. I've spoke about it, so I'm leaving. Better than. No, I, I, I think you're. Yeah, Stephen Welsh definitely fucking not. Don't care how well he's playing just now. Anyway, let's move on to Instagram. Um, but yeah, the rebuild's gonna be fun. It's very it? harsh when will she? Mate, it just, just, just it's, it's the Scott being Connor Hazard thing. They're not good enough. But I don't care if they have the odd. I, was, good I, game. I find myself a comedian. Like another day, Jordan, big Jai put a message in the chat. Oh, was it Jai? I, somebody in the chat put something. That Welsh boy is good. And apparently, he's not Welsh. He's fucking Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Three twenty-eight. Um, Aidan Carlin says, "How far do you realistically think Scotland can go in the Euros?" Um, no reason why we can't go to the last sixteen. Well, there's a big reason, reason why we can't the fucking group's a tough group no so, but, I mean we, we could do it. do it but yeah no reason mate who's, um, so who's a group again England Czech Republic Croatia Ach, no reason we can't <laughs> you're a World Cup finalist that mob down the road and Czech Republic have beaten us recently that mob, that mob down um, the road so uh, I mean they could in a dream world could get quarter finals because you got, you got if, you, if you do get through the group you got a decent draw we're better team. on that mob down the road oh, but they're they, overrated well, pish they, but I mean, there is a you could do the Wales thing. Where you get a decent draw, and you perform a bit of magic in the last sixteen. Who knows? But I the way mean, I look at it is, we as should, long as we win one of the group games, the, I will the, be satisfied. The way I've been looking at it is, we should be beat the Czech Republic. Um, yeah, but that's that's. Oh, well, it's not the Czech Republic anymore, is it? It's Czechia. What? It's not a Czech Republic anymore. That's not the name of the country. Is it not? It's Czechia. Since what? Since a few years ago. Genuinely, look it up. It's Czechia. Let me assure you. Uh, you think I'm taking the piss? Right, okay, fair enough. I'm, right, I thought you were trying to tell me it's like... I don't know in terms of... Fo- is it still like... I think it's still... In football, is it... It's, look! Czechia. That country in Europe. Czechia. It's but changed. Is that in like terms of like how like Germany... German spelled Germany, Deutschland? Um, I don't know. I just remember seeing a big article about it, about how it's changing its name. It's Czech Republic, man. Anyway, so... And then when the, you but, but that is the typical, <laughs> typical Scottish thing of expecting us to be better than we should be. Why should we be beating Czech Because Republic? we beat them no long ago. But they also beat us not long ago. Ah, but we uh, beat them they no beat us or they should have done. Anyway. But they had their plumbers out and all that. And they beat... Uh, yes. Aye. And, but then at Hamden we beat them, they battered us. And they've probably but, got better players and a bigger resource. Right, than us. Well, listen to so me. It's the reason why everyone thinks Scotland are underachieved, but we the, actually don't really underachieve. The height of this tournament and the importance we should have beaten. If we're going to have a good Czech tournament, we, we have to beat Czech Republic. Right, yes. so the way I want to get it just now is if they don't beat Czech Republic, I'm no longer a Scotsman. Um, if we get four points, I'll be happy. The magic, of, the magic of the England game should take us on and hopefully do something. Um, and the other game against Croatia. Croatia aren't what they used to be. Yeah, no, no, no. no. And Scotland fair. got a good record against Croatia, but I, I mean, no, yeah, well, Gilles gone by, hasn't it? Yeah, but last time we haven't been beaten off them for ages. Right, anyway, and they're better teams back then than they have now. I mean, uh, Modric isn't what he was five years ago. Either remember like um, oh, who's who's the boy you had? Tor look at the back was a recent. Uh, look was good. Who's the attacker? It begins with an I. Played for Bayern Munich, I'm sure. Fuck, what was his name? Elisic, no. No. Can't remember. He's Slovenian, is he? Can't remember. Anyway, so, yeah, I don't know if we really answered that. I think we kind of did. Um, Friendly Kinsella asks a really pointless question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. If Celtic were to win 10 in a row, <laughs> I should have just stopped reading there. <laughs> would there be a documentary made about it? Well, if there, yes, there would have been under I'd, normal I'd, circumstances, I'd, I'd so there definitely I'd, would be now. I'd be making a, do- a documentary. The amount of Rangers fans that are, that are getting squeaky bum time after the result yesterday is hilarious to me, because it's fucking so Look, so, what needs, so let's just talk about this very briefly. If, if we win our games in hand, we're still 15 points behind. If we beat the Rangers twice, we're still 9 points behind. So we need Rangers to go on and lose 3 games, and we need to win by quite a substantial figure. Because um, like the goal difference is, goal quite, difference good, is m- quite huge. Yeah, so, let's, let's not so, so basically, you, you have, you you have to reason. entertain the idea that Rangers are going to lose... Three games and two against Celtic. Not going to happen. And concede shit hands of gold, man. Yeah, not going to happen. Right, uh, Lee Boy FC asks, Lee Bahoy FC, sorry. Uh, as the table stands, who do you see going down by the end of the season? Hamilton. Down, down, the Ross County are going down, <laughs> down. Can I, nah, I'm going to go. Hamilton, uh, Bill, he's going down. I, actually, 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 
Hamilton and Ross County. Both of them. Both. Because I, I've, I'm sticking to it. Somebody's coming up through the playoffs. Um, Football Prime Ginger asks, who do you, this is a great question, who do you see Aberdeen's potential replacement for the reporter Derek McInnes is gone? Um, I like your shout at Jim Goodwin, Jim Goodwin by the way. That's a good or shout. Stephen Glass. Stephen Glass is manager. At, I don't know if he's still manager in that Atlanta first is it, team. Is it related to Deco? No, I don't think so. Stephen Glass, he's played for Aberdeen, he's played for Unfermed, great player, good coach. He was the manager of the Atlanta United second team. I think he's now managing the, the main team. No, um, really? Talented young coach. Um, and obviously Atlanta and Aberdeen have got that link. Yep. He's an Aberdeen boy. He's a good shout. But Jim Goodwin, I think, would be up there. Stephen Robinson. Stephen Robinson. Be, I'd imagine he'd be the favourite, mm. I would have thought, if yep. that job came up yep. tomorrow. Surely. So those three. Tommy Wright, I think, may think I should have held on because he'd have been there with a shout. Not sure he'd have got it, but he'd have been there with a shout. Um, so those four, um, and you'd have like... Go and get that door. That's a light box gone on Monday to leave it, I don't think. Apart from the one that's just got up and walked towards the door. Yeah. Oh, there's a door open now. Right. Right, right, okay, right. Go, go with the question again. Cloud. Um, I didn't ask the next question because I think we didn't get that far. Someone at Aidan Carlin also asking the Black Cell stream. We've covered that. Aidan Drennan on here says, am I your favourite viewer? We've covered that. No. Uh, <laughs> Speedy asks, even if Celtic win every game from the end to the end of the season, will they win the 10? No, of course they won't. <laughs> I am not one of the bottom. <laughs> I think I am the specky one. Um, so here we go. Now, like, I don't know why people are entertaining this idea that we're going to do it. Why? I'm just trying to like, get you some hope back in you. Um, what, so one person from each of us we want on in the future. Ali McCoy. Oh, that's Ali, man. Yeah. That'd be good. Um... Amazon tell them I think she's been delivered. Oh right, aye. Um, oh, well, who would I want on? I said it the other night. The dream is Johnny Hayes. Oh, well, Johnny Hayes as well. But the dream, the big man. You know, imagine getting to sit down with him. Aye, proud. Very proud. Very proud. You know, the referee he clearly sees yeah, that. Yeah, could have been killed. He could have been killed. Oh, it could have been killed. Yeah, I'd love to. Imagine getting the chance to interview him. I was thinking yesterday. Oh. I think we should. Uh, I think we should have like a guest each, right? Whereas if we get it on, we get to do it ourselves. Just see if I got like Andy Roberts on, I wouldn't want you there because you don't even like him. So fuck. I you. do like him. Aye, but after giving him slander, I, so I would basically want what you're saying is we should agree on a guest each where we what, we get. Him. So right, well that sounds. So if we get Robo, I get a one to one, and you can pick someone you get a one to one with. Who am I picking? Johnny Hayes. Well, I right, so right, okay, that sounds very nice and well. So what you're saying is, Actually, but then I, I wouldn't want to miss out in Fergie. So there goes that. <laughs> <laughs> but then that's what I was about to say. I couldn't sit here with Andy Roberts now after your fucking slander. I, they, but, no chance. But like, so, <laughs> so if it did happen, blah blah. Say somehow we got Andy Roberts on, you would deny me the opportunity to yeah. sit down with a Scotland You don't captain. deserve it. You don't deserve it. <laughs> Fuck off. Fucking Rob will get some. What if I got um? Neil Lennon on. You're saying. Oh, no chance. But you'd want me there, though. That's the difference. You'd want me to come and fucking get th- th- torn into that <laughs> Like, if I got Neil Lennon on, right, at 10 years from now, and we sat down, and I was like, no, you can't join in. You wouldn't join in in what would probably be one of the biggest interviews we could do, unveiling everything. Okay. Okay. You're not one of the bottle? Don't care. Poor Robo doesn't deserve your scouring at him. Well, just because I don't like Liverpool. No, just because you just don't like him. You're I do disgrace. like him. You're a disgrace. He's good. He's just not Kieran Tierney. He's, he's captained us to the fucking Euros. It's a disgrace. It's just some match stick for someone who's this done is, that. This is propaganda. Think how many have tried and failed to captain Scotland time in your tournament and he's done Scott it. Scott Brown. Tried and failed. A failure of a player. <laughs> uh, failure of a man. <laughs> fucking shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Also, um, I'm going to ask you this question. Do you think Stevie Clark should be phoning Al McGregor ahead of the Euros? No. I think he should pick up the phone. I think he's that Scotland's best goalkeeper. He, he, I, I'm not. I think he's probably. You're arguably looking at the best and scored him. My arguably, thing is that I, I think we should have the three of them go, Gordon Marshall and McGregor, because the three of them deserve it so much over the years. Been so good. But, but then that's what I said, and you you turned me away for sentiment uh, when you when, said, and when we were deciding the squads, I was like, we should take Kenny McLean, and you were like, there's no room for sentiment. Yeah, no but, yeah, but all done a fucking minute. Are you telling me that Kenny McLean and Alan McGregor would have the same impact in the squad? Well, Alan McGregor's. Well, my, my, my argument was Kenny McLean's not going to play that much. Alan Kenny McGregor, McLean's not Scotland's best midfielder. Alan, Alan McGregor, McGregor, Scotland's Alan McGregor wouldn't play, though. I think he would. If not he, over if David Marsh, really. He'd better than David Marshall. But he wouldn't play over him. Well, because he's retired. But if he was. If he if Alan McGregor hadn't retired, he'd have been playing. It's nonsense. You know he what? was playing until he retired. He's, you know, McGregor, no, no for me. No for me. Simple answer, no for me. Scotland, no for me. Scotland's best I, I, look, I, I, I think you're arguably, as I said, looking at the best this country has seen since Andy Gold. So to flip the sentiment thing. Why is Marshall playing ahead of McGregor for you? Because Marshall's taking us to the Euro sentiment, yeah. He's not better no, than McGregor. No, he's, well, he's a cracking goalkeeper. So, uh, all three of them are cracking goalkeepers, yeah. Craig Gwynn's a cracking goalkeeper. Three fucking 40-year-old keepers, though. 
well, none of them are 40. Well, McGregor's nearly, he's not kicking arse off it. So he's not 40 year old. Um, and then, but he's still better though. I, I, I no understand, but look, he's retired for international football. So did Scott Brown and he came back. And I, I don't think he should have. I'd like to see if he were saying that at the time. But he only came back for like one game, did he know? Yeah, he came back for a few, I think. Was it two, maybe three? I don't know. Anyway. I, look, for me, I don't think so. I think that I think if he really wants us to do well in this tournament, he picks up the phone. I would be back. Because you do have to take your best player. I would be backtracking an opinion that I've held for a long time, and that's when you determine international football, that should be you. And says a guy with David Marshall's a Twitter profile picture, I'd be gutted to see Marshall play. But exactly. also, cold hearted managers have got to make them big. He's never going to do it, Steve Clark, but I mean, I think you know, I, I don't think Marshall's. In. Marshall's not going to put a foot wrong for Scotland, especially. But if you, I know that you're saying McGregor's better. Yes, absolutely, he is better, right? But David Marshall is perhaps not getting the... He plays such a poor derby side. Uh, such a poor, poor side. And they're conceding goals through the hilarious defensive errors. Trust me. Wayne Rooney is manager. Wayne Rooney is manager. Oh, how's been, that going, I've been, I've been right. keeping track. Um, it's, been been, down, it's been up and down, mate. It's been up and down. It's been down, down, is it not? It's been up and down. There's been a couple of decent up, down, down. Up, down, like the, down. Yeah. What was it, 4-0 over him or something? Uh, um, right, the clowns that think that fucking the English Championship's better than the Scottish Premiership, uh, that, like, are better than Celtic Rangers. Colin Cassian Richards and Martin Laghorn are like starting for Derby County. They could have cut up, yeah. Yeah. Right, Colin okay. Cassian Richards. Else? Uh, Daddy Dev. Daddy Dev, oh, congratulations to you, friend of the channel, Dev. Daddy Dev, aye, yeah. Congrats, mate. Um, it was also his birthday. It was, it was. Um, he says, thank fuck you're back. What will, that's a great question. What will episode 100 look like? Um, me severely fucking done in. Um, <laughs> well, Rangers have just done two in a row. Aye. Um, no, we'll have had 100 done before then. I don't know. I, I, I reckon episode 100 will, will look fairly similar. Um, nah, if the I world's don't. no Disney fucking... Hurry up. It won't just be the two of us. Will that? No, it won't. It won't be similar. Episode one hundred will either be a compilation episode or it'll be a massive interview. One of the two. Robo, and I'm no there. Robo, just me and Robo. No me. You I don't deserve to speak Robo. to. You don't. You're a fucking disgrace. I don't deserve to speak to the captain of my country. We should. Uh, you know what the SFA should do? But head up to the Euros. They should like dish out players from the squad to all the Scottish football podcast. Really? Oh, yeah, absolutely be a great idea. idea. Really good idea. We should idea. do that. Aye. Just like imagine we got stuck with fucking Ollie Buck. Oh, oh crap. Well, right, lads, you can do. You can keep, <laughs> you can keep yeah. uh, so, top Scottish football, all about Burnley. <laughs> I'd right. take all about Burnley on. Oh, would you fuck? I would, actually. Nah, you could, that's why I'd, I'd, be be really, really, I'd be a really good interview. Yeah, I'd probably get a cracking yeah. interview at all. I, I would be, I'd be hoping for Ollie, that. how do you deal with the yeah. fact that the Scotland fans don't like you? <laughs> how do you deal with the fact that you are a cunt? <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow, that's a bit far. That's who you'd want, but that's, not me. that's who you'd want. Super, oh, oh my that's God. Sean Dyche. Oh, oh that's shout. <laughs> that's who you'd want. You'd be a good. I don't think you'd have to act professional with him. I think you could sit and have a good laugh. Yeah, but I, I would. You know, I would love. Like, I'd love. I mean, Dykes would always be good. But Dykes has been done to death in the media. Marshall again would be done to death. Someone like someone who's been there for a wee while. Craig Gordon would be good, just because he's been in so many Scotland teams. Who else would be good? But I, I would also like Liam Palmer. <laughs> Declan Gallagher would be good. Gallagher, I suppose. McTominay. I'd want McTominay. Oh, McTominay would be good. No, no, I know who I'd want. Be, it's him. Yes, it would be Tom again. No, it's but him. I'd, I'd want McTominay, though. The only Tom. one I would be saying. So that's a great shout. SFA, I don't know if the SFA's watching. That's a great shout. Just dish out one of the players on Zoom to one of the podcasts. All the Scottish players. There's loads of them go around. You've got about 20, 30 players there. Mm-hmm. The biggest, it's biggest, a really good idea. Yeah, it's like a great that. idea. I think they should fantastic. do that, man. Get everyone going. You know, loads of positivity. Yep. Yep. Hear everybody's individual takes. I'm gonna fucking tweet the SFA with that tonight. Aye. No, I'm joking. No, do it. Um, I like right. it. Um, Ryan McDonald asks favorite guest. Derek. Yes. Or Kieran Old. I can create guy here. <laughs> uh, Derek. Yes, obviously. No, not obviously because there's been some crackers. Derek. Yeah, but yeah, he was the goal. Like oh that. no. Peter Martin. Peter takes, Martin takes a bit of stick, but. Amazing last. Oh, top fella. Guy, top fella. Guy. FM season three predictions. <laughs> two in a row. <laughs> uh, two in a row. Yeah. Nah, not a chance. Mario gets a player of the season. It's like when you went player of the season. Like, like the fucking the Royals team. Like when you didn't you didn't think you weren't worried about Oxley Chamberlain and they ended up like winning middle league. Yeah. But go sir. Like, what is he? Is he playing the walking football? He's the he's the he's gonna be the best footballer in that league next season. Depends whether we can keep him or not. <laughs> I will be without a doubt. Look at stats. I'm having a joke. I've got to be the easy mate. Aye, I've got a big lead in You had him last season, and they did amazing, and still didn't win the fucking league. So, two failures actually, really. Well, we won a cup double. Oh, but that means fuck all, doesn't it? 
We were only lost by a point. We still lost though. Actually, it was a goal difference. It was goal difference. Still lost though. I know you're all them goals and you still couldn't win on goal difference. <laughs> Shite. Um, so, yes, that's that. I think that's all the questions. I'm quite sad now. No, how all the questions? You just annoyed me at the end of the show there. Well. Ah, well, it's been a cracker, Davey. Been a cracker. Oof, I'm on that. What's the smell of? Um, Give us the description. See, be honest. Nothing. Fuck all. Yeah, just like, yeah. Just nothing. Did. Just nothing, mate. Nothing, this. I Emptiness, I, like I your can't. soul. Yep, that's how I feel with the FM save right now. Yep, that's well, we we'll probably have to do that on Thursday, aren't we? Yep, Thursdays Celtic obviously playing Wednesday night and kind of it kind of messes up the schedule a wee bit. But hate Wednesday games, man. It ruined my schedule last week. Yep, yep. Wednesday games are a right pain in the backside. Tuesdays are nice. I do know I enjoyed Wednesday three o'clock. Bring that back. When was that? They done it. Um, was it box? Some, they done it in the end summer of as well. End of December. I don't feel we did that in the summer too. Like one of the first weeks. I can't remember what game it was, but it was done Sunday three, uh, Wednesday three o'clock. I think it was fucking. Oh, raging. like the twenty eighth or something. I remember yeah. raging. It was Dundee United. That was it. The Dundee United game it was them. That mob. Um, aye. Well, that's it. Episode fifty all over and done with David. It took us our time, but there we go. We're here. We're finished. Hopefully, to fuck, we can have. Uh, your cameras just died again. They can't see us, but they can't no, see no, us. No, well, the card will be full. The um, will be full. Hopefully, fuck, we can have people here with us soon. Yep, rather. Kieran, Callum, all the rest of it. Hopefully, we'll be Dev, back. Obviously, yep. Dev's definitely going to be here. But it's a good one. Oh yes, Dev will be front and centre. Front and centre. Yeah. Um, we'll get Dev on for episode fifty-five, won't we? No, we won't. No. Yeah. No. Why not? Because that just makes me sad. No, well, not exactly. Right. Well, it's it's good to be back, David. I enjoyed this. And right, ladies and gentlemen, if you've enjoyed each other, like and subscribe if you've listened. Oh. Go and follow us on Twitch, both of us. Oh, aye, aye. We're, we're Twitch streamers now, you Oh, see. yes, that's it. Yeah. Debut 22. Oh, I get, get up the follow. It's going to be an affiliate by the time this goes up. Official Ryan 118 as well. Um, well, actually, no, I'll be an affiliate after this, because I'll be just after. Aye. Right, well, that's us. That'll do us. Um, David, it's been a pleasure. If you're listening to Spotify, make sure to share it out. Got any final thoughts? Um, Let me think. No. No. It's uh, Monkey and the Tambourines and you're reading now. Yeah, it really is. There's fuck all going on. <laughs> I'm thinking about having my lunch, you know? Oh, your lunch is fucking 25 to 5. I know, well, when you... Is it actually? Holy fuck. I know, aye, aye. That's what happens when you sleep till fucking 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I know, exactly. Right, lads, genuinely, thank you very much That's for That's an embarrassment, by the way. Dear me. You're looking at the camera as if it's still on. Aye, well. <laughs> right, see you all after, lads. Take care. Bye.